Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we started off the episode at Prince LaCroix's apartment with the Ankaran sarcophagus, finally in our grasp. But we had a setback. We have no real way of opening it. Uh, it seems like it needs a key and it seems to have been a minor oversight on our part. But thankfully Beckett was there. Um, the, uh, vampire philosopher, I, I guess you could say, um, and he said that he knows of someone, a professor who he believes will be able to help us open our current sarcophagus, but he has been kidnapped by the society of Leopold because they knew that we were looking for the sarcophagus. So Beckett said he knew where the society of Leopold, like main headquarters is. So we infiltrated um, we managed to rescue the professor, uh, Professor Johansson, I believe his name was, and kill uh, Grunfeld Bach in the process, who, in his final moments, uh, before he finally died, he blew up the whole complex. Once we got back to LaCroix's uh, apartment area in downtown, we found basically this. Rubble everywhere. Not sure exactly what happened. But we will find out. Um, and before I go in... Or is it up there? Yeah. Before I go in, I'm actually going to go... I forgot where everything is now. This way. I'm going to go to my apartment. Uh, just to kind of check up on emails and shit. Just in case this kind of triggers, you know, something very final. I don't think we're quite near the end of the game yet, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's see if we can collect some money first. And drink a little bit, because we are fairly thirsty. There you are. I was beginning to... Yeah, yeah. It sucks that these don't fill you up even more. I'm not sure exactly if there's a stat. Money, right? I've got your cut right here. Thanks. I'll never forget this Oh, okay. I honestly don't know why we keep bothering with money. Um I think we're pretty fucking loaded. Yeah, forty six hundred dollars. Maybe I should visit, uh, what's his name, Fat Larry? Because we do get discounts from him. Okay, anything here? Nope. Puppy, please. You know, given the state of this elevator, even the lobby, you would never guess how nice the apartments are. Pilford Prof. and current sarcophagus is discovered kidnapped from hotel. Interesting. What's up, baby? I had a dream this afternoon. You were in it. You were stroking my hair, telling me you loved me. And then, in the next instant... You were gone, and I was alone, and I cried out for you, but you wouldn't answer. <sighs> You're here now. I have never felt more relieved. I would never leave you, dearest Heather. <sighs> You're so kind to me. <laughs> yes, yes I am. Uh, I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you. I, I got something for you. Here, it should fit you. I hope you like it. I thought it looked like something you'd wear. Body armor? Uh, it's wonderful. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate it. Think of me when you wear it. I will. Uh, before I go, do you think you could... You need my blood? Of course. Thanks.
Okay, before I go... Oh, shit. I should have... Well, maybe afterwards. I want to tell her to change to wear something different, because, like, I feel weird having her walk around, like, lingerie all the time. Like, this isn't fucking P. Diddy's house, you know? Too soon? Too topical? Two are unread. Fourteen. The White Bishop. The White Bishop falls. Okay. Your bloody Valentine from VB. Okay, it felt so liberating to open up to you in that last email, so I dip my pen into my soul again to write another for you. Father, I never knew you. Mother, I ran away from you. Sire, you forgot me. But lover, you are forever in my heart. Think my looks will stop me from being taken seriously as a poet? I actually went to see her uh, last video. I cut it out, but she wasn't there. Like at the, um, what was it called? The Vesuvius? The strip club? She wasn't there. Well, let's see this body armor. Oh, that's cool. It automatically attaches. Most of these protective compounds are worn under clothing. For that extra ounce of not going to die tonight. The armor rating is 4 with minus 2 to dex. Ah, that sucks. You know what? That's fine. We're bashing a seven, though. That's crazy. Damn, our lock picking went down, though. Okay, you know what? For now, there's no reason to wear it. I think I was wearing this one. Yeah. Yeah, it's back up. Um. I could potentially wear it when we're, you know, in combat. We got 19 points. At this one, I kind of want to put him into, um, into fighting stats. So melee is obviously strength and melee. So 9 or 12. Maybe another point in celerity. Yeah, let's do that. So one in melee, and then one in celerity. I like that. Fuck. Oh well, whatever. Then I will do it next time. Okay, on to. Actually, we'll we'll talk to Fat Larry real quick. It's on the way anyway. My man, what is up? Dude's got a fucking flamethrower? I mean... I mean, come on, guys. I, I gotta... Fire rate high, range long, reload speed is fast. Lethality is 110. Compared to a gun, which is like single digits potentially. Oh my god, I'm so buying it. Canister Burninator brand flamethrower fuel. Yeah. You can only carry around two canisters.
I, ooh, McCluskey. You know what? I'm sold. I like the McCluskey. Why? Did I run out of space? I could sell this. I'm not going to use it. That's good. Hey, yeah, what am I going to do with the McCluskey? Or with the McCluskey? What am I going to do with all this money? Jamie Sue. I didn't realize I had this. Oh, that's sniping. Which one's for the Jamie Sue? I don't think he's got ammo for the Jamie Sue. No, that's okay. Okay. Let's see, uh, what the fuck's going on here? Let's do a quick save. Holy shit. Oh no. What happened to Chunk? Whoa, what the fuck? Jesus, even swat. I can't move. There we go. Chunk's not here. Um... Oh, I gotta... Gonna press the button to let myself in, I guess. Well, how do I... Oh, I can go up. So why would it tell me no? That's so weird. Oh. You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. Uh. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. So the Sabbat. I suppose I should have talked to the prince first, back in a minute. <laughs> With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. Is who did this? The Sabbat. A pack of shovelheads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabat animals. Sabat attacked? Why? Why else? The motive of every kindred in the entire city these last few nights. The Ankaran sarcophagus. They've been misled into thinking the sarcophagus holds a sleeping ancient... Their most coveted feasts, Diablerists. Do you drink the blood of other vampires? The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of Diablery. That is, drinking the blood of other kindred, especially older ones, until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. And the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. 
Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, I'm sure you can guess my course of action. Hey, lazy sheriff, go wait this about. Uh, you want me? <coughs> you want me to take on Sabat by myself? Have your gorilla do it. He has to remain here in case of further attack, and also to guard the sarcophagus. For this emergency, I need someone with your nerve to guarantee success. The Sabat have been a threat to both of us for far too long. Fine. Where are they? The Sabat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel. Right under our noses, here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? Ooh. I could start being a little, uh, you know, demanding. Before I tell you anything, I want what's coming to me. Take your money. Tell me, what have you learned? <laughs> 300, that's all he's given me? You should be giving me thousands. Okay, the missing crate from the Dane. It's a key to sarcophagus. A key? Where? Do you have it? Uh, no. That's all I know. But the other good news, Bach is dead. Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you, and to victory over the Sabbat. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates. Not only did I kill the greatest hunter, I removed their headquarters from the city. Fuck a toast. You should be fucking making a parade. You should be organizing a parade for me. Uh, I only killed him because I had to. Now I must do the same to the Sabbat. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. Okie dokie. Yo, Beckett. You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. The wrong thing for the right reasons. What does that mean? The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna, which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. You're not Camarilla? What I am is kindred. How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships... It is the only one worth taking. Good point. I met with Dr. Johansson. What did Johansson have to say? He said it's the tomb of Meserach, an Assyrian king. Assyrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Meserach, I'll have to research that name, see what I can find. He said the reliefs on the side were of a demoness called Lamastu. Lamastu? She was a Lilith figure. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. He also said there's a key for the sarcophagus, but he doesn't know where it is. The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed. I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. That's everything I know. Does that mean anything to you? It seems to corroborate my own evidence. I'm going to have to study it a little more. Maybe dig up some information on Meserach and the Lamas II myth. I'm certain the key will show up in time. Your information is appreciated. 
You're welcome. I had some other questions. Excellent. Why would the Sabbat attack it so openly? It's simple. Someone's misled them into believing there's an antediluvian in this very room. They, and I suspect most kindred in this city, would love to sink their stakes or teeth into its imagined occupant. I mean, if point. indeed rocketing it to the moon was out of the question. I'm supposed to wipe them out because of the attack. Well, perhaps for this pack, it's for the best. Okay. I better prepare my for my salt on the spot. Goodbye. Okay. Well, good thing I bought flamethrower. Dude, if I could, I'd be like buying canisters of the shit. Um. Okay, I'm assuming we have to. How did you get around? Anyways, whatever. I don't care. Need a ride? Yeah. Sabat hideout, please. Oh no, wait. He said it was here in Hollywood. Um. Fuck. Where did he say it was? Hellebrook Hotel. I don't know where that is. They're literally right down the street. Like, seriously? Just turn the corner and you're there? Well, I can't exactly get it either. Really love your crab nipples, don't you? Uh, I think I found my way in. Let's do some snicky snakes. It's a weird sound. Oh, Mr. Sabbath. You can't see me. The fuck did you do? Okay, you run over there. Oh, hi. Yeah, buddy. What is that? Oh, I thought I picked it up. Oh, I guess I only picked up some of the ammo. Okay. Oh. Damn. All right, whatever. Hang on, hang on, hang on one minute. Let me just put in my uh, handy dandy. Oh, 
won't feed on you. They have flamethrower as well. Oh, I could have just gotten it here. Oh well. No. fella okay so let's do some presence and some celerity oh lovely dead end That was pointless. Talmahara blade? What is this? Surge was for the, the sword was forged by the Talmahara, a vanished sect of kindred that purportedly ventured into the lands of the dead. Seems unnaturally light and attacks twice as fast as a normal blade. I mean, yeah. I'll fucking take it. Yeah, buddy. Hi, guys. Can't go down. So I don't get where am I going? Where am I going exactly? Oh my god, that fire did a lot of damage. Who are you? I'll leave you alone. You are the one human in this place. I don't know how you manage to... I don't know how you manage it. Oh, how did I not see that? Mesmerized. 
again, just a regular dude. I guess they just like capture him and like feed on him whenever they need to. Man, this presence is some powerful shit, eh? Is that another way down? Yeah. Oh, I actually get to manage to open a door in here. Ooh, looks like we were heading to a boss room. Certainly seems like a boss room. Kind of like a mini boss. Wow, We're pretty tough to kill now, eh? Not to say it can't be done, but.
I'm <laughs> just lock picking. Difficulty of seven. Probably do that once the fight is over. That was just blood buff instead of changing our clothes. See what's in here. Um, there we go. Just the guy. You're welcome. Pretty badass. Help! Oh, no. Help! Save me! Oh, you bitches. Oh, you fucked up. I feel bad. I feel bad that A, that she's dead, and B, that she died in that fucking outfit. Oh my god. Fuck. Well, looks like she died either way. When I say that, I mean like. Uh, she was like, what? I, okay, what I meant to say was, if when I when I first made her a ghoul, I was saying that if we don't take her, like she'll commit suicide or something. I believe that's how it was. It looks like she dies either way. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. How do I get out of here? I can't even... Do I have to use a gun? I mean, I'll use a gun. Um, probably better that I change out of this outfit, though. Because it gives me minuses to dex. And let's raise our aspects up. How the fuck do I get out of here?
That's just a gun. That was stupid. I should have picked up more bags of blood. Hi. It is. Well, I guess I didn't need to take that blood bag, but what's it going to do? Save again. Whoa. Holy shit, man. I thought the Zamitsi were fucked up. Oh, speaking of which... I recognize the smell of your blood, young Knight. Very potent. Greater than our last meeting. I could smell it even over the flood of my fallen brethren. Doesn't that make you wonder? You won't fool me. Puppet! The strength of your blood is all that saved you from yourself. Wretched, weak-minded mongrel. The blood is wasted in you. Wasted! What are you talking about? Miserable, ignorant gutter spawn. <laughs> You are blind. The sarcophagus must be destroyed. What? 
What do you think is going to happen? I will do it myself if I must. And you, you will be purified. It is the blood that he is speaking through. The blood of all the pawns. It all must be purified. Wait, what's going to happen if the sarcophagus is opened? No, of course, they never want to fucking talk. Oh! Well then. Ah, fuck. Zulo shape. Holy shit! That's pretty fucking close. Okay, I thought it was gonna blow up or something. Man, look at that shit. That's fucked up. Torch? Oh, okay. Um... So how do I get out of here? Through here? It looks like it. Okay. Oh, Keep hi. Peace, Kindred. You stand amongst friends now. Back at the temple, you were singing a different tune. Your foes all lie vanquished, kindred. I come to help. Be at peace. Trouble is nothing but yours to give. Tell you the truth, I could really use some help. A true friend in death is as true love. Precious, rare, and sweet. Pray your senses have not gone so languid that this blessing cannot be savored. The Chang brothers didn't seem to share your near vision. Indeed. The Chang brothers, my greatest agents, undone by the young soldier of LaCroix. It was obvious your path was greater than I or he had anticipated. Why did they try to kill me? They had orders to get the sarcophagus at all costs, and to let no one get in the way. It was nothing personal. They had no way of knowing who you were. You don't care that I killed them? It is not that I do not care. If their purpose was to make apparent to me the significance of your path, then their purpose was indeed served, and they are at peace. I can harbor no ill will toward you, the victor. The Cheng brothers mentioned an alliance with LaCroix. We did have an arrangement, LaCroix and I. A mutually beneficial pact to drive the lesser factions from the city. I asked you about this before, but you wouldn't talk to me about it. Again, Kindred, I could not have guessed the significance of your path. My arrangement with your prince was too sensitive to reveal. Okay, what happened to the arrangement? LaCroix's zeal in recovering the Ankaran sarcophagus has been to the exclusion of many relationships, mine included. And I, like yourself, have been used by him in his desperate quest for power. How did he use you? LaCroix feared Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, for the cursed insight of his bloodline was strong and brought him uncomfortably close to the truth about LaCroix's ambitions. And so? 
LaCroix saw an opportunity to rid himself of two problems, a hardened rebel leader and a problematic primogen in one fell stroke. And as you can see, I was integral to his plan. Ah. Things are beginning to make sense. LaCroix convinced me that an alliance with a Camarilla could strengthen the position of the Kuei Jin. And so with my help, your prince framed Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout. That son of a bitch. So you were the one I saw at Grout's mansion? Yes. You were made to be the witness. For your political naivete put your word beyond reproach. No one would believe you devise such a story. LaCroix used you and once again turned a problem to his advantage. Sounds sticky. But why are you telling me all of this? You need to understand that you are a liability, Kindred. Once LaCroix finds the right moment, you will be disposed of, just as he did with Alistair Grout, Mr. Rodriguez, your sire, and countless others. If the rumors about the sarcophagus are true, it's not going to matter. Hear these words, Kindred. The sarcophagus is sealed against the ages. Only the proper key will break this seal. That key now lies safely in Quajin hands. Your prince's prize cannot be had without it. I see. Thanks for your honesty. I hope you recognize my sincerity, Kindred. I would like to see you reach your destination before your path is cut short. I hope when next we meet, it is again as friends. We'll see. Later. Very interesting. It all makes sense now, eh? Ah, what a son of a bitch. Okay, I really should go talk to the Anarchs. I mean, it was obvious. Like, it, it, not only did it seem like Nines was like in a trance or something, it didn't seem like Nines. And sure, we'd only met him like a couple of times, but it didn't seem like him. I didn't think it was him. But for it to be Ming Zhao? That's crazy. Heard anything? The leader of the Kuei Jin recently told me of an alliance with LaCroix. That bastard! He sold us out? I'll let you know when I have more news. Oh, Jack's gone. What the hell did you want? Few questions. What do you make of this on Karn's sarcophagus? I've been hearing that some ancient evil vampire gonna rise up out of there and bring all hell with you. Shit. For all we know, might be Cain himself. Some people are saying it's one of the first signs of Gehenna. And I suppose it's all some Cam Camarilla conspiracy, right? Nah. Camarilla denies any of that shit exists. Vampire forefathers, doomsday prophecies, all just superstition in Camelan. Then who believes in it? Lots of people. The Sabbat believe in it. They go around trying to hunt down these sleeping ancients so they can kill them before they rise up. That's the word anyway. Of course, most Sabbat packs I've seen couldn't find their car keys. What do you believe? Us? The Anarchs? Everybody's free to make up their own mind, I guess. I buy it. Would explain all the blood in the air. We're probably all playing right into this thing's hands. If it has hands. Cool. A few more questions. Yeah. Well, do you know anything about the Kuei Jin? Do I know the Kuei Jin? Those motherfuckers showed up in California five years ago and been fighting us tooth and claw for every inch of the free state since. Yeah, I know. Are they. Oh, what are they like compared to us? Let me tell you, they ain't nothing like us. They're devils, man. Shifty fucking devils. Seeing the shit they're capable of makes some of what I saw in Nam make a lot more sense. Who's worth, Kuei Jin or the Camarilla? They're all invaders. The Kuei Jin, they're less likely to deal with you. They think they're the superior beings or whatever. But the Camarilla, they'll just lie and stab you in the back. Which is worse? Does it really matter? Not to you, obviously. Yeah. 
Um, alright, I'm out of here. So Jack is gone. So what's the plan now? Go talk to the prince? The prince will be happy as a little girl when you tell him. Okay, we'll go talk to him and then uh, we'll, we'll end the episode. Oh, Chunk's alive! Get your hands up, man. Sorry. I, I want to talk to you. Chief, you believe what happened the other night? I couldn't come into work on account I bought a tamale from a street vendor and got the scoot sound terrible. What a lucky thing, too, because that food poisoning saved my life. Uh, that's one lucky bout of the runs. <laughs> You're telling me. But if I had been there, those punks wouldn't have gotten past the front desk. There's two things I can't tolerate, and that's terrorists and tainted tamales. I hear that. Uh, I need to see LaCroix. I guess you can go on up. He wasn't expecting you, but it should be all right. Thanks. Good to see Chunk's still alive. All right. The Sabbat. Ash. Another obstacle is removed. From the enemy, we resurrect a new order. And this, in no small part, to your service. <laughs> Did you hear that? You were never able to wipe them out completely. Keep it up, and you may have his job. My unstoppable crusader. My victories in this city are in no small part due to you. You've done what I've asked without question, and you've done it well. Take this small token of my appreciation. We'll rule this city side by side, you and I. 800 bucks. All right, all right, now we're talking. I know where the key to the circle. Oh, man, are we just going to... Are we just going to out her? I found out how to get the key. You found the key? Where? Who has it? I'm going to be honest. Ming Zhao has it. She also told me to tell you the alliance was off. This nonsense again. Look, I told you before. No kindred would ever ally themselves with those demons. This is a subterfuge. A trick to start a civil war. And apparently, it's worked. The Nines is innocent. Minja took a shape. She killed Grout. As of this moment, there is no blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez. The Quajin have revealed their plot. <laughs> they want us to war against each other? Well, to that I propose an alliance with the Anarchs. Together, we kindred shall drive out these foreigners once and for all. Do you really think the Anarchs will trust you? Whether they trust me or not, the Quajin are the greater threat. They do trust you, however. After all, you've been working for them all this time. Uh, no, I... Spare me the explanation. I don't hold it against you. Your affiliation is a trite concern next to your accomplishment. In fact, you alone can bridge the two kindred communities and sound the Kuei Jin's death knell. You'd be a legend. I'll talk to them. I'm sure I can get them to see the pros of an alliance. Go to the last round immediately. Tell them the Quaid Jin have admitted to killing Grout, and that the blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez is officially over. Tell them I have realized the true threat the Quaid Jin pose, and wish to negotiate a pact. You will be my emissary for the alliance, so naturally you speak on behalf of the Camarilla. Choose your words carefully. I will begin organizing plans for war. Good luck. The prosperity of all this city's kindred 
depends on your success tonight. No pressure. Okay. Oh boy. What a what a tangled fucking web, eh? I don't even know like how this is going to resolve. Like I'm sure there's different ways of potentially ending. Like the way I see it, we're going to have to choose a side. I I don't know if there's multiple endings. I I honestly don't remember. But I would think there's like three sides, like the Anarchs, uh, the Camarilla, or the Quajin, wherever you want to lie yourself with. Or none, I guess. There could be a fourth option where it's literally you lie yourself with no one. You're, we're our own person. I don't know. But to what end? I mean, either we're going to open the sarcophagus or we're not. Yeah. I don't know how much game there's left, but there can't be that much more. I would think maybe like two videos maybe three max I, I think we're nearing like the end game uh yeah i, I don't know how they're gonna agree to a to an alliance against the quaja well i guess i guess stranger things have happened right well i guess we'll find out in the next episode how it goes in the meantime thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one take care